Hey everybody, this is Mark, your Neighborhood Friendly Facilities Director of Christ Church. I hope everyone's doing well and staying healthy uh, during these new times that we have before us. Uh, seven weeks ago when all this stuff started, they were throwing around the big word impossible. It was going to be impossible for us to change, impossible this, impossible that. But we have. Uh, over the last seven weeks, we've learned new ways of worshiping God. We have learned new ways to go to work. We have learned new recipes to cook at home. We have also learned ways to wear new hairstyles, which by the way, fit with the tie-dye shirts again, since they're all going back to the 70s poofy style. We have also had to learn new ways of using our gifts and talents for God. Spring has always been a busy time of the year for Christ Church. We collect food for Greensboro Urban Ministries. We start our house build for Habitat for Humanity. But due to the restrictions, we're unable to do that now. You can still collect food for Greensboro Urban Ministry. You just now collect it and drop it off at our outside drop box at Christ Church. You can still pick a hammer up and instead of hammering for Habitat, hammer for your neighbor. Walk next door and put that gutter back up for them or do something nice for your spouse. Fix a bench that has been broken for the last 15 years. Do that impossible. The other thing that was impossible was we were going to live without the ACC tournament and the March Madness. That was impossible for a lot of us. Spring is always big on sports. So instead of getting to see who won the 2020 National Championship, we got to go back and see the 1982 Carolina team beat Georgetown. We got to go back and see the impossible NC State Cardiac Pack beat Houston in 1983. It's also brought back awesome old boxing matches from years ago. My dad was a big boxing fan. So as a child growing up, it was always awesome to get to watch Muhammad Ali on Saturday afternoons on ABC's World Wide of Sports. Watching him banter with Howard Cosell was awesome as a kid. You couldn't wait to get to school on Monday to use his lines like float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. His hands can't hit what his eyes can't see. I'm so mean I make medicine sick. Ali was one of the first to use the gift of gab to intimidate his opponents. He had a rhyme technique like no one else. As Muhammad Ali continued to age and as he got into retirement from boxing in 1981, he said that he was going to dedicate the rest of his life for getting ready to meet God. He was going to do this by helping people, helping charities, and helping make peace. For the last 35 years, he did this as a humanitarian and a philanthropist. Ali never lost his gift of gab and his rhyme that he could do. Instead of talking the talk that he did and intimidating opponents, he would use that. He would use that gift for the glory of God. He would start saying things like, service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on earth. Don't count the days, make the days count. If my mind can conceive it and my heart can believe it, then achieve it. A man who views the world the same as he did at 50 as he did when he was 20 has wasted 30 years. And one of my favorites, is if they can make penicillin out of moldy bread, surely they can make something out of you. Many people have said our current situation is impossible. Many people said David couldn't beat Goliath. That was impossible. Many people said NC State could not beat Houston. That was impossible. Everyone said Muhammad Ali couldn't beat George Foreman in the rumble in the jungle. It was impossible, but he did. Here was what Ali had to say about impossible. Impossible is just a big word thrown around by small men who find it easier to live in the world they've been given than the power to explore to change it. Impossible is not a fact, it's an opinion. Impossible is not a declaration, it is a dare. Impossible is potential, impossible is temporary, impossible is nothing. Friends, we are facing impossible every day, but we can do as the others have done and treat it as impossible as nothing. Again, we can do what God has always told us to do, love him like nobody else, and to go out and treat our neighbors as we would treat ourselves. Folks, be good to everyone, be good people. 
and make disciples for Christ. Thanks be to God.